A complete computer guide. Hi, welcome you all in my channel. Today, I have come with some computer problems that student got in their exercise. So, here you will get the solutions of that questions. First question is, what is daisy wheel printer? How it is different from dot matrix printer? Answer. A daisy wheel printer is a type of impact printer that was commonly used in the past for producing high-quality text documents. It employs a printing mechanism that features a wheel or disc with spokes, resembling the petals of a daisy. Each spoke of the wheel has a character or symbol embossed on it. Now the difference between daisy wheel printer and dot matrix printer. Daisy wheel printer uses a wheel with characters on spokes and a hammer or striker mechanism. Dot matrix printer uses a matrix of tiny pins that can be selectively activated to create characters and images. Daisy wheel printer typically produces higher quality text, especially for documents with a lot of text and fewer graphics. Dot matrix printer can handle both text and simple graphics but the print quality may not be as sharp as that of a daisy wheel printer. Daisy wheel printer generally quieter compared to dot matrix printers. Dot matrix printer can be noisier due to the impact of the pins against the ribbon and paper. Daisy wheel printer primarily used for text and is less versatile for graphics. Dot matrix printer more versatile and can handle both text and simple graphics. Daisy wheel printer, typically slower compared to dot matrix printers. Dot matrix printer can vary in speed, but some models are faster than daisy wheel printers. Second question is, why is graphic plotter called special output device? Answer. A graphic plotter is considered a special output device because of its unique capabilities and the specific tasks it is designed to perform. Here are some reasons why graphic plotters are classified as special output devices. 1. Precision and Accuracy Graphic plotters are known for their high precision and accuracy in drawing detailed graphics and complex designs. They use pens or other drawing tools to create precise lines and shapes on paper or other media. This level of precision is often not achievable with standard printers or other output devices. 2. Vector Graphics Graphic plotters excel at producing vector graphics. Unlike raster graphics, which are made up of pixels, Vector graphics are based on mathematical equations that define lines and curves. Plotters can follow these mathematical instructions to produce smooth and scalable images. 3. Large Format Printing Many graphic plotters are designed to handle large format printing, making them suitable for tasks such as engineering and architectural drawings, maps, and other technical illustrations. The ability to produce large prints with high detail sets them apart from many other output devices. 4. Specialized Applications Graphic plotters are commonly used in specialized applications such as computer-aided design, CAD, engineering, and scientific research. They are particularly well-suited for tasks that require precision, detail, and the ability to reproduce complex graphical information. 5. Pen-Based Output Plotters use pens or other writing instruments to physically draw on the output medium. This method of output is different from the typical printing process involving inkjet or laser printers, which deposit ink or toner onto the surface. The use of pens allows for a wider range of colors and line styles. 6. Slow Speeds But High Quality Graphic plotters are often slower compared to some other printers, 
especially when dealing with intricate designs. However, the trade-off is the high quality and precision they offer. 7. Expensive and Specialized Equipment Graphic plotters tend to be more expensive and specialized than common printers. They are designed to meet the specific needs of professionals in fields where precision and detailed graphics are paramount. Third question is, what is the function of a projector? Answer. A projector is a device that is used to project images or videos onto a screen or other flat surfaces. The primary function of a projector is to take an input signal, typically from a computer, laptop, DVD player or other media sources and display the corresponding visual content on a larger surface for an audience to view. Projectors are commonly used in various settings, including classrooms, boardrooms, theatres and home entertainment systems. Fourth question is, name two types of magnetic disks commonly used in personal computer? Answer, two types of magnetic disks commonly used in personal computers are, one, hard disk drive, HDD. A hard disk drive is a non-volatile storage device that uses magnetic storage to store and retrieve digital information. It consists of one or more rigid, rapidly rotating disks, platters, coated with a magnetic material. Data is written and read using magnetic heads that float above the spinning platters. HDDs are commonly used for long-term storage of operating systems, software applications and user data in personal computers. 2. Solid State Drive SSD A solid state drive is a type of storage device that uses NAND-based flash memory to store data persistently. Unlike HDDs, SSDs have no moving parts. Data is stored on interconnected memory chips, allowing for faster data access and reduced latency. SSDs are known for their speed, reliability, and durability compared to traditional HDDs. SSDs are commonly used as primary storage devices or as components in hybrid storage configurations in personal computers. Fifth question is, why is compact disk called ROM? What are the advantages of CD-ROM? Answer. A compact disk read-only memory, CD-ROM, is called so because it is a type of compact disk that is designed for read-only access. The data on a CD-ROM is permanently recorded during the manufacturing process and cannot be modified or overwritten by the end user. The content is read-only, emphasizing that it is intended for playback or retrieval but not for altering or saving new data. The Advantages of CD-ROM 1. Non-Volatile Storage CD-ROMs are non-volatile storage media, meaning that the data is retained even when the power is turned off. This makes them suitable for long-term storage of software, applications, and other content. 2. High Storage Capacity CD-ROMs typically have a high storage capacity, especially when compared to earlier storage media like floppy disks. A standard CD-ROM can store several hundred megabytes of data. 3. Universal Compatibility CD-ROMs are widely compatible with a variety of devices, including personal computers, CD-DVD players, gaming consoles, and other multimedia devices. This universality contributes to their popularity as a distribution medium. 4. Sequential Access CD-ROMs provide sequential access to data, allowing for fast and efficient retrieval of information. Users can quickly access different parts of the disk without the need to physically move to a specific location, as is the case with some other storage media. 5. Cost-Effective Mass Production CD-ROMs can be mass-produced at relatively low cost. This makes them an economical choice for distributing software, educational content, multimedia, and other types of data on a large scale. 
सिक्स ड्यूरेबिलिटी सी डी रोम्स आर रिलेटिवली ड्यूरेबल एंड रेजिस्टेंट टू एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स सच एज डस्ट एंड स्क्रैचेज द प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर ऑन द सर्फिस ऑफ द डिस्क हेल्प सेफ गार्ड द डेटा स्टोर्ड ऑन इट सेवन स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सी डी रोम्स एडहियर टू वेल डिफाइंड स्टैंडर्ड्स इंश्योरिंग कंपैटिबिलिटी अक्रॉस वेरियस हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर प्लेटफॉर्म्स This standardization contributes to their widespread use and acceptance. 8 ease of use. CD-ROMs are easy to use, requiring a simple insertion into a compatible device for playback. They do not require complex installation procedures, making them user-friendly. Now, some technical term that students asked. 1 a type of printer that produces images. by pushing electrically heated pins against heat sensitive paper answer dot matrix printer to an input device used to make menu selection and draw free hand shapes on a paper answer graphic tablet 3 a set of instructions written in computer language which instructs a computer to perform a specific task answer computer program 4 a program that allows a hardware peripheral such as a printer to communicate with a computer answer device driver 5 a program that ensure the smooth functioning of a computer answer system software 6 the collection of programs designed to operate control and manage the actual operation of the computer equipments answer system software i hope you might got your answer if you have any questions of computer then you can comment me or send message on my messenger instagram or twitter and thank you for watching